Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a grasshopper swarm going on in the U.S. West. The hardest hit states is Montana and Oregon. So this came out in The Guardian, July 4th, 2021. They said the drought conditions out in the West has made it ideal for grasshopper eggs to hatch. And they are hatching by the millions. So y'all remember I did a story on the drought that's going on out in the West. Well, not only are these grasshoppers everywhere, they're also <laughs> around the farm fields that are already hit badly by the drought. So now these farmers are now dealing with, and these ranchers are dealing with grasshoppers, <laughs> millions and millions of grasshoppers. Wow. A massive population of grasshoppers is proliferating in the sweltering American West, where a deep drought has made for ideal conditions for grasshopper eggs to hatch and survive into adulthood. Mm -mm -mm. I can only describe grasshoppers. <laughs> Wow. He said that, you know, one farmer is talking about his ranch in Oregon is covered with them. So covered. They, it's like, they said it looks like the ground is moving. It's so many. And this is in southern Oregon. They said they are seeing bands of grasshoppers. Uh, 1,000 acres a day. They're covering the ground of 1,000 acres a day. And they said they cover the ground like snow. That's how many there are. I just cannot picture that. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. So they said it's creating a headache situation for farmers and ranchers competing with cattle for a rough to find wild foliage. Yeah, because, you know, uh, grasshoppers, they eat grass. And your livestock, many of your livestock, they eat grass. So that is a problem. That's a huge problem for people with livestock. Absolutely. So they're saying that, you know, it's costing these farmers thousands of dollars in crop loss associated with costs, you know, and they are a scourge of the earth. They are just destroying the land, destroy the crops. They are just a bad, bad predator. This is what one of the farmers are saying. Native to the Western lands, they have been there for millions of years. Their population typically in check. They hatch tiny versions of adults. So small, about 50 can fit on one coin, the size of a quarter. In average, most die off before becoming a wing uh, grown up. But now they are buzzing the skies of the rural areas. <laughs> That's what they're doing. 
They and their eggs are susceptible to pathogens, brutal winters, and starvation while young. But grasshopper population began ballooning in the spring of 2020 thanks to the warmer and drier winters that favored survival along with a lucky few rains that spurred grass for them to feed on, of course. Oregon and Montana have been the hardest hit by these grasshoppers, and they said they are eating everything in sight. 13 other states are also facing grasshopper damages. Wow. <laughs> 13 more states? Wow. Wow. And this is according to a uh, hazard mass assembled by the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The program contains grasshoppers on rangeland and also target a close cousin, the Mormon cricket. The 17 states under purview of this pest control have a combined agriculture value of $8.7 billion, according to the most recent estimates. Last year, the program spent more than $5 million on the suspension efforts and presently steep and more. Mm -mm -mm. They are grasshoppers. All right. They eat and eat from day from the day they um, are born. They said they come out of the eggshell eating. <laughs> they just eat and eat and eat and until they just die. And that's all they do. So uh, one farmer said they basically ate all of his foliage around, you know, his ranch. And he's a cattle rancher whose Eastern Oregon ranch was besieged by grasshoppers a year ago. So, wow, that lockdown year did a lot. You know, it, it just go to show you when people had the lockdown, these, you know, bugs like the grasshoppers, they flourished. They flourished out here. Mm-mm-mm. In addition, grazing down on rangeland foliage, which also wipes out feed for wild antelope. Grasshoppers eat the leaves off of fruit trees and bed down in the dry areas, ringing crops. So yes, because I mean, those crops are really dried up in Oregon because you know I did a story on that where they decimate grain by eating slowly inward. Mm -mm -mm. And they said these grasshoppers are capable of flying for miles. They can travel in bands to consume one area, then move to the next. But controlling grasshoppers can be challenging because they are like snakes shedding their skins as they grow. They are susceptible to the most uh, targeted insecticide. Yeah, but you got to be careful about what kind of insecticide you're using out there. All right, so that small window is in places like Oregon where grasshoppers tend to hatch early and mature fast. Wow. Y'all just think about this. This is Oregon and Montana are the hardest hit, but they're saying these swarms of grasshoppers are in 17 states. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So it looked like they're say also saying, you know, there's swarms where it's Oregon border with California there's also, you know, infestation there. Wow. I mean, <laughs> what is next, y'all? 
what the hell is next? But y'all, please tell me what you think about what's going on in 17 U.S. states all together with grasshopper swarms. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.